Okay, y'all, barbecue pulled pork and bacon pizza. All right, guys, so I started out with a quarter onion that, and I put it in the bottom of a crock pot and then I placed this pork shoulder that I rubbed on top. You can add whatever rub you like. I use my own. This is the sauce I made. It has ketchup, brown sugar, salt, pepper, uh, crushed red pepper flakes, and apple cider vinegar on it, and that's pretty much that. I mixed that all together and then I uh, poured it over my uh, pork shoulder after it had been cooking for probably about three hours on low heat. Guys, it's going to pour about half that mixture is what I did um, just to uh, help break down the meat. That's what the vinegar does. It actually tenderizes it. After probably about nine hours, you'll or eight and eight, six, I say six to nine, you'll kind of get it broken down and you can pretty much pull it apart. This actually went overnight on low, so it probably went a little further than I would suggest. But guys, that's just what I did. That bone pulled right on out of there. That, and um, there's our pulled pork portion. All right, guys, after that, um, I went in the pan with some bacon. This is just regular old bacon. And um, not thick cut or anything, and you're gonna just fry that up till it's almost crispy. But you want it to be a little chewy because you're gonna go back in the oven with it on your pizza, and you don't want it to be um, too too far crispy. So I sprayed a sheet pan, then I added some yellow cornmeal, some fine yellow cornmeal on the bottom, just to help with the crust because you're gonna use this crescent dough as your um, as your crust, and so that really gives it like a pizza type flavor. All right, guys, and so I went on here with some Stubbs barbecue sauce after I baked the dough for probably about uh, 10 minutes in the oven on 450. Just going to spread that on. You want a kind of a thin layer unless you're a sauce person. After that, I added some mozzarella in the pulled pork. Then I added cheese, bacon, and more cheese. After that, I added some Sweet Baby Ray's on top of a little spiral. Then I placed it in my 450 degree oven, baked it out for around 10 to 15 minutes, and this is the end product. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm AJ. This is Danny, and we are hashtag. 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 hashtag, hashtag the cannons. CCTV. Alright guys, welcome back to our eating show. We're back with another move bang for you guys and today we will be having some pizza. Pizza, pizza, pizza. It is a barbecue pulled pork and bacon pizza. That's right, you heard, right? <laughs> barbecue pulled pork and bacon. Anyway, we're gonna get more on that, but first Danny's gonna hit you with a cup of time. If this is your first time on our channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And after hit that post notification bell, like I'm about to hit my husband. So that you can see every time we upload. And give me a thumbs up, guys. Like it. Like it. Oh, you got to chill. You got to chill. Guys, that's right. Make sure you subscribe, <laughs> guys. Don't forget, hashtag grow, baby, grow. We're moving close to our goal of 25,000 subscribers. If you're a new family member, we'd like to say welcome to the channel. And if you've been here before, welcome back. Guys, I'm going to go ahead and pray so we can dive into this pizzle. Piz 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 Father God, in the name of Jesus, we ask you to bless this food, Lord. Let it be nourished to our bodies and bless those who are less fortunate. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, y'all. So, I already cut it. Pull my sleeves up. Because I didn't want to be over here sawing on camera. <laughs> and, um, guys, this recipe was inspired by uh, none other than Miriam from It's So Good. I do give credit where credit is due. It's a little soft. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. but, that's that. I don't know if y'all can see. Woo! And uh, I got a little a couple prickles because I like pickles with my. Okay, y'all, I'm back with a pirka and a, these Takis chips. So. A what? I like pickles with my barbecue, so I'm throw them on there like that. Like, hey. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Wait till you try it. Mm. Fire, but Excuse me, y'all, if I'm sweating, this oven got it hot in here. 
Let me see. Mm. It's bomb. Mm-hmm. And normally I stray away from pieces that have barbecue sauce on it because normally it's too much, but mm -hmm. this actually isn't. I put stubs as the main sauce, and then I went in light spirals around with the Sweet Baby Rays. You know, Sweet Baby Rays are real sweet. Mm -hmm. This one is a little bit of that touch of extra sweet, you know. Mm -hmm. What's the drink of today? Roar. It's some kind of low calorie electrolyte drink. It's good. Mm. I heard I try one. Ooh wee. A refreshing. <laughs> Crummy. Mm-mm. <laughs> Crummy dummy. Hey. No dummy now. <laughs> we are halfway through the week and I'm excited. <laughs> Look at that a little, a little onion. That's what the little dark shiny pieces y'all might see. That's that onion that's been in the crock pot. Then broke down and got all homilized and, and things and whatnot. Oh. It's to be. Mm -mm. Take this piece. Keep hey! Oh. Don't touch my corner. <laughs> yeah, this might be a short one day because we're trying to get it to you. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's so. So I usually would have left it in the um, oven longer than this. I like well done pizza. Like I like the cheese to kind of get like a little brown and bubbly, but I was scared about the crescent dough. So, I mean, the crescent dough is done. But it's not overdone like I was scared of, so I went ahead and pulled it because I was scared. I mean, it's done, but it would it would have been able to make it if I uh, for if I would have left it in there longer. Like it wouldn't have died on me because I was scared it was gonna burn. <laughs> a really hot oven. Fire and desire, baby. Mm -mm. Probably got cornmeal all over my face. This is what you put on the bottom. Put a little cornmeal on the bottom. Trying to give it a reminiscent of a, like a DiGiorno crisp. Mm -hmm. Do you know I ate a piece of bacon? Of course. Bacon can't go unattended. <laughs> you got cornmeal by your eye. <laughs> I must be hungry too. Mm -mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. Eat this little piece up here. That's a good piece too. Look at it. It's crispy. <laughs> mm hmm. I read an article earlier that was saying that 
minimum wage now is not enough for someone to afford their rent. And I can believe that. Yes, because rent is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. They take advantage of it. Mm -hmm. And someone had, they were like, is it just me or is 15, like 14 to 15 dollars like really the new minimum wage? Like yeah. You really can't. Mm -hmm. I don't know how people do it out here. Mm -hmm. Making anything less than that. But there's not many apartments that's left mm -mm. at $600 a month, $700 a month. You, they charge him $1,000 a month for um, bedroom. I want to say something, but studio places that are not up to par. Put mm -hmm. it that way. Places that have no attention, taking care, of, maintenance, look like crap. Mhm. Mm if we want anything decent, we gotta pay our arm and a leg for it. Mhm. Mm <laughs> and that's in an apartment. You're going to pay even more. The same amount that you pay for a nice apartment, you're going to pay for um, a shack of a house. Mm -hmm. If you want a nice looking house, you're going to rent. You're going to pay much more than that. Right. $1,700 to rent something decent. Anything else, they charge $1,200, $1,300 for you to rent something that's really just like you know what I'm saying? It's just ridiculous. And you know places like New York and stuff got to be worse than here. Like, you I couldn't imagine. You stay somewhere two years. They rented some trailers out for that much. You stay somewhere two years, you be done paying in rent the value of the place you're living in. Mm -hmm. Like, it's crazy. They just robbing folk. Because they can. I mean, that's right. the that's the market. And they... It's crazy. And then this whole equal... I guess like reduced income thing that some of these apartments are doing, I don't too much understand. So for example, your rent is like thirteen fifty, let's say, and the cap on two people is them making thirty two thousand dollars. I cannot see somebody making thirty two thousand dollars being able to afford rent that is thirteen hundred dollars. Like I just can't. I don't Unless you out here doing something recreational. What, like, what is that? What is, I don't understand how you're trying to rent. I mean, if you and like, because we visited a place like, cause we were looking to move. Mm -hmm. We did an apartment tour, and they're like, we're doing only affordable housing, so we don't know what that, that means. They're like, because we're looking at their sheet, and I'm like, this is so confusing. Because I'm like, of course, I mean, after you add our incomes together and stuff like that, we won't qualify if they're only doing affordable housing because their their cap for income is not making sense for two people. Like it's like, and then the people that cap for income don't make sense for that right. either because it's like, how do they afford this rent? And then when I asked the lady, she just act like she didn't understand what I'm saying. I'm like, you work out in these streets, girl. You know what I'm saying, like. <laughs> I don't really understand how somebody making thirteen dollars an hour, because that's probably thirty-two thousand, probably between like eleven and thirteen. Thirteen's probably pushing it, but anyway, like I don't understand how they are going to be able to pay thirteen hundred dollars worth of rent and on top of utilities, food, and food, and if they got kids, like I don't, I don't understand. But you know, <laughs> this crazy. Way Z. I'm like, yeah, you get somebody, they'll be able to move in. But they, I mean, you're going to evict them? Right. I'm like, they ain't going to be able to. If you say you're doing yeah. affordable housing, I would think you would be dropping the price on your rent and then only allowing people who can afford, who can't afford, like, a higher rent to move in. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. You lower the rent and then. You know, if somebody makes too much, you know, we're saying we're only making these affordable so that you have, so that the people who, who are finding it hard to find somewhere to live can find somewhere to live. Right. It don't make sense that other way around. I don't get that. And then, you know, some like most of the time with requirements, you got to make either two times the rent or three times the rent. Uh, This person is not going to be making two times the rent working uh, the job they got. 
Right. It is not even going to happen. Like I say, you end up qualifying to move in, but then you struggle every month to pay it. That's right. crazy. No, make no sense to me. She's like, oh, we really have this, um, you know, cut off to this level, and that's all we're doing right now, but it might change. And I'm like, lady, they're just going to put you at the bottom of this list because not going to work. That's not going to work. Same to me. No. And, you know, we used to have conversations about, you know, like when we were in high school working at, like, Walmart and Food Line and stuff, that these people are, like, working in these stores and have kids and stuff. And I'm just like, how? That's some good money handling. No, I used to work. When I worked because, at Walmart before, mm -hmm. like, when I was in college or whatever, in the summer and stuff like that, I knew a couple people that were in there that would, they would, they hated their job. Mm -hmm. But that's, I mean, they they had to come. Right. And they could not afford their rent and stuff like that. You know, they're miserable. They're having to borrow and stuff like that. I remember that. Like, I remember that when I was in college. I was like, I was just thinking to myself, ain't no way. Like, I, I don't see how they even making it, like, literally. Because I know, I talked to, like, this one woman. And I know for a fact, she was always miserable. She mm -hmm. was always miserable. She hated the job as a cashier there. But, you know what I'm saying? I guess she felt like that was the only job she could get for the end. And... And, but, she, you know, she was always struggling. I mean, having to, you know, scrape up trains to get something to eat and stuff like that. So, you know, I felt bad. And um, You got to think what kind of stress that is putting on you. you know, at the I time, I was, it was like a part-time job for me. But, you know, I mean, it was, and it was like, um, it was like eight something an hour. And I remember when they raised my pay to nine something an hour. I mean, I'm like, these people can't be making this. Like, I'm just like, are you serious right now? Yep. Like, that's 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 highway robbery. I mean, you got these people coming in, and you don't want to pay them. Walmart is one of the biggest industries, biggest company. It's already, you don't, it's not like you put cashiers on every register. Right. They probably put more back then, but they were still register shut down that mm -hmm. they didn't do. And I was like, um, it's just, it's just ridiculous. But then you pay, you have 15 different managing departments in there. I mean, literally, they have, mm -hmm. They have um, started from a CSM, which is like, which is nothing, not really a management <laughs> position. But I mean, you have a uh, zone manager, uh, department manager, uh, shift manager, Too assistant many. managers, and then you have you have multiple of each of these. And then, especially once you get to assistant manager level, I mean, that's where all the money goes. They're making so much money a year, and everything up from their shift managers up, they're making buku money a year. But I'm like, you can't afford to pay your associates a little bit more. Right. Like these people out here. Just to be honest, they're the ones that make this store work. Like <laughs> to yes. make it, to keep it going. When I started working at Food Line out of college, they gave me oh, nine, and I think that was because I had a degree. So if they didn't, I think they were giving people like seven fifty, and I'm like, oh my god, my coworker is over here working right. for seven fifty an hour for what? <laughs> To sit up here and throw fruit places and, you know, deal with folk. It's terrible. Yeah. So, on to another topic. If they were scrolling on Facebook. <laughs> have you ever dated someone, like, while you were at church? Like, y'all went to the same church? And then I have a sub-question after that. Not necessarily dated, no. Okay, so my sub question is, was they a POS? What do you mean? Do you know what a POS is? Uh, the S I'm thinking about. Uh, yeah, it's the S you're thinking. What do you mean? I didn't, I told you. Oh, you didn't date one. Not like that, no. So you was just talking. Yeah, I mean, I kind of talked to this, uh, yeah, I kind of talked to this girl, but I didn't really. I kind of stay away from church. Thread, I was about to say this thread was saying for people to stay away <laughs> from people that are in church because they terrible. Talking about the drama is the worst. <laughs> the musicians. The musicians are the worst. There's but something else. <clears throat> I try to stay away from church, but I feel like, um, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I feel like if you meet somebody in church, yeah, I really click, but I don't go to church. Look into well, some people do. I know, and I just, I just I have dated somebody in church. Would not recommend five out of ten. Okay, would not. <laughs> it was not a good experience. And after that, I just decided to search for people that knew the Lord and won't end the church. If I could get that, <laughs> right? That was good enough. Like I wonder sometimes 
I know there are couples out here that have like, because you know when we watch 90 Day Fiance, they have different religions, but I don't know how they are functioning because I feel like your religion is a major part of the way you live, like your lifestyle. It really is. So like, you know, when we were watching with, uh, <clears throat> what is her name? Brittany. <clears throat> and I don't know yeah, uh, Your son. Yeah, he was Islamic, and I'm guessing she was Christian, and it just... Yeah, she didn't did want, not work. He she wanted her to conform to everything that he had going on, and she didn't want to. And so, that caused a major problem. Okay. And so, like, I feel like even if you're kind of trying to be okay with the other person, I think, like, each person is going to have different values and mm -hmm. things that they don't, you know, do and things. And I think if you're trying to be one, I don't. I think that's a major, major flaw. Yeah. Like, um... Uh, I know it happens, but I just, I know I probably couldn't do it. I know I could I could not do it. And um, if y'all have uh, spouses <clears throat> in different religions, please let us know how that works. But for instance, I'll give you an example. My grandma and my granddad, both of them, they believed in Christianity. Like, they were both Christians. My grandma was actually saved and, like, going to church in the middle of their marriage. And my grandfather was like, eh, no, no, I'm cussing. And so, <laughs> that kind of caused the rift with them because, you know, they want to go somewhere. But my grandma's like, I got to go to prayer service. <laughs> that, you know, causes issues. Uh, even like with, I've told you, when I was in school, I dated somebody that was Jehovah Witness. Which, I mean, it, it definitely is different. But they kind of have, you think they have little similarities maybe. But it, was, it, it did not work. Because it just, it, no. Yeah. He was wanting to go to I forgot what their um what the actual name of their church would be, but he was wanting to go there and I'm wanting to go to my church and I'm like I'm not going in there. So it's definitely if people are out here doing it, big ups to you. Because I don't it, it didn't work for me. Yes. Did not work. Because I think that even has things, you know, to play into your values and yeah. What you, you know, what you will and would not do. See? I couldn't do it. Couldn't do it, AJ. No. But anyway, guys, <laughs> we want to thank y'all for coming out today. We really do appreciate appreciate you. Uh, guys, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like this video. Guys, drop a comment down below so we can talk to you. Holla at us. Holla at us. Holla at us. <laughs> but uh, remember to share this video. Share it. Share it out with everybody. Because can't, you know, sharing is caring. So care about us. Care about us. Uh, we love each and one of you. Each and every one of you. Each and love each and <laughs> we love each and every one of you guys, and we'll see you on the next video. Do you have anything? Nope. All right, take us out. Bye bye.